A very good morning, folks, and welcome to FYI. For your information, it is the 11th day of October. It's almost Christmas, folks. We trust that you guys are great. And we got the fairy lights to show it as well. We are on the cusp of Christmas. Good to have you in GPL showing up the fairy lights, at least in a place called the Silver Street. We're going to show you some of that quite shortly. Folks, but welcome to each and every one of you from the various places you guys are joining us from. Welcome. Share the live, share the live, share the live, folks, so that others get valid, credible information as well. We trust that you guys are great and well from the many places that you guys are joining us from this morning. It's nothing short of a privilege being here with you folks. A day after day, nothing short of a privilege. And we're trying to ensure that we are shared to all the true and correct places. Where is my friend Tabitha Saravo Halley? Where is my friend Randolph Pichillo? Good morning to you folks. I want to say good morning to the folks in the Carolinas as well. I ain't forget y'all. Uh, North and South Carolina, those folks in Spartanburg, uh, those folks are, uh, what's the name? Is it, is it Somerville? Somerville as well. Uh, the various places, the allied places close by there. Guys, good morning to each and every one of you. Wherever you're joining us from this morning, we are happy that you are here. We got some power problems in this country. I know when you talk about what's happening between Donald Ramadan and Irfan Ali, we got some real some, some power problems that are even more grave. In fact, see, can I think one of us, what's happening with the power cooperation in this country, man? Peter Monroe, do you know? Stan Bowen, Loretta Argyle, do you know? What are you guys having this morning? What is your beverage of choice? I have some um, usual, you know. As I get older, I find like the, the I ain't so much for the creamers and the milk as we say. What is your um, cow's milk or your mech milk? What <laughs> Mike says. You know, you take the powder milk and you mix it up. No, no, no. Not so much for that these days. Good to see you. Good to see you. I see Camille Cox is here. I mean, there's no blackout this morning yet. Yet. Orin Dawn is you. Good to see you there. Orin says she's not getting our notifications. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Who's trying with you, Orin? Huh? Tracy Clark, is you there? Vanessa Wagdeen, all the other folks joining us this morning. Great to see you guys. Yeah, Tracy and Edward Brooms is here too. Lionel Simon has joined us. Siobhan McGill is here as well. And so many folks join us. I met a young woman uh, yesterday, I think it was. Um, I met her at the offices of um, our, our colleagues, the Astell Collins Firm. There's where I met her, swear to God. <laughs> folks, I don't talk things I don't mean, you know. I love these guys. And that's why we recommend them to you for all your documentation needs. Yes, they have some documentation needs. I went down there to them at the Callion Mall. I met a young woman. She said, my mom washes you. Will ask for all the time. So I said to her, please tell your mother I said hello. She said, Well, you tell her, tell her I say hello because she out with you every day. So you tell her I say hello. <laughs> you tell her I say hello. Say hello, mom. Who no no? Who no no? You want to recommend it? Alice Collins from for your documentation needs. All of it, all, all, all. And when you go down there, folks, right? If they're Roman day. Music and so on, softly playing in the background. You know, don't put in a different space. Tell them I used to get a cup of tea, two slices of toast, and some scrambled eggs. <laughs> Tell them I say so. Folks, a good morning, each and every one of you joining us. Yolanda Thomas, we we'll see you there, Yolanda. Elson Duke, Debbie Collins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who I love? I love those people. Who sends you all the flowery stuff? You know, the blinking lights and so on, a little scripture and so on. I love me a good scripture to get me started when the day when the day gets going. You know, I love that kind of motivation early in the morning. JG, Joanne Bauman, Grace Noel, Julian Bauman, the whole Bauman clan here. Maureen Chichester Paul. Maureen, how are you doing? It's not Maureen's daughter. I I, I met. Huh? <laughs> I think so. Maureen, I might be wrong. Uh, that uh, that aside, I like that. Imagine, imagine, because people have my number. How many I get? I love the people who send them to me. Why won't burn the factory down? 
you're pointing in the direction of this factory wherever it is i won't burn it down the factories produce all the little blinking lights thing and you know you see a tree in a house and a little quotation that's the factory talking about i don't know which part of the world it is some people say in thailand it's in cambodia some people say japan i won't find it myself i'm burning them <laughs> i get tons of it folks we sift through a lot of information here to bring you the cream of the crop one of the days we're going to walk you all through our um what they call it what they call it um our work routine if you want a better phrase you know we're going to walk you guys through and see how we got information from so many places and just pick out you know the cream of the crop stuff to say to you guys this is a snapshot of our world today right and imagine you have to click on so many because people send us information all the time as well you have to click on so many <laughs> messages and i'm telling you the majority of them is people just want to say hello wish you a good morning put a scripture down in your soul and save me over <laughs> i love it but wherever the factory is wherever the factory there where we getting this stuff from I want to find it. <laughs> I won't find it with a singular purpose. I won't burn it to the ground. <laughs> it's so much to get through. So much to get through, folks. So much. And you know, when is the worst? Holiday time. Oh, my. Some people don't even bother, like, saving it and sending it to you. They send Merry Christmas, and you see, it's forwarded many times. <laughs> Happy Easter. You see it for many times. I love the spirit. But wherever the fact is, then you all get the problem with it. Elizabeth Howard and Bradley Anderson and Andrew, Andrew Griffith. It's not the people. I got the problem. I know it comes from a good place. But wherever the fact is, uh -uh. it's like blackout. You know, blackout. And what did, what did Mr. Patterson call it yesterday? He used a euphemism. He wanted to take it up a bit higher. You know, give it a fancy name. All right? That's what he wanted to, to do. You know, something adjusted, compartmentalized, something. All right? Give it a fancy name. All right? I ain't I ain't thing. Right? Wherever it's producing blackout, I want I want to finish it. Wherever it's producing blackout folks, I want them to finish it. And according to him. This thing is not going away. We can talk a bit about that. According to him, I'm trying to, I'm trying to look for that phrase that he used. I don't care how nice, you know, we make it sound and how palatable them boys try to make it sound. I don't like it. It's kind of like poverty, you know. It's kind of like being poor. Poor. I try to, but I don't like it. This blackout thing, you know. I want to organize bone blackout. When I'm ready to sleep at night and I turn the light up, that's how I want to organize it. Distribution frequency management. I ain't like it. Like poverty. I try to, but I ain't like it. Please and thank you. I don't like it. And that's some of what we're following this morning, folks. Some of what we're following. A lot of happening. Getting to the morning papers. The folks in the Silver Street, Newtown. Oh my Lord. They have some fairy lights. They say, I ain't like it. It's not Christmas yet. We want to organize our own fairy life. We don't like when GPL organizing it for us. That's what the folks say. I ain't like it. We ain't like it. Take a look at folks and take a listen. The Silver Street New Talk. What happened there? <laughs> Last night was the same thing. Last night, last night. 
Yeah, so that was the situation. The Silver Street, the folks that we want to organize our own fairy lights for the holiday season. We don't want GPL to do it for us. How 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 the lights by you? <laughs> how the lights by you? Camille Cox says she hasn't had blackout as yet for the day, and she's out of Region Six. Region Six. How the lights by you? I know some of you in the diaspora don't know what we're talking about because, as our friend from New Jersey told us recently, four years I old hey, never had blackout yet. Them boys in tree, and they give you more blackouts. They give you more blackouts. You know, the interesting thing is that the last government factually started reducing blackouts more and more, not by magic, making the tough decisions. You got to procure more equipment to do your power supply. More equipment, and not no. Um, as uh, in an article we published on Credible Sources quite recently, uh, quoted David Patterson as saying, them boys going about some scrap heaps in Indonesia and buying generators. The aim is not to cure power supply, you know. It's to earn a quick dollar. That is the aim of it. It's not to help those folks in the Silver Street and elsewhere. No. It's on a quick buck. Folks, if you ain't share the life yet, you're wicked. If you ain't share the life yet, <laughs> you're, you're expressing jagabatical tendencies. Luan House on the East Coast, one, two, three, blackout. Blackout. We were going somewhere. I remember when this seemed like a thing in the past, and people started breathing a collective sigh of relief. You know, it's amazing to me. I heard the PPP saying about this sanctity of contracts in the oil industry and the fact that investors and big businesses coming here wants certainty. But I think business coming here too want a stable power supply as well. I think they want a stable power supply. You cannot operate a business or any entity on a professional level like this, could you imagine selling customers something? You got to swipe a card, and then it's blackout. The whole machine gone down. The computer system gone down. We store in darkness. Uh, how much do we lose to productivity on a daily basis because of blackouts? How much? Hmm? How much? Patterson in that article, it's on our credible sources website and our uh, main Facebook page, Credible Sources. In that article, Patterson makes the point that the PVP has done absolutely nothing to build on what the last administration signed. Of course, David Patterson was the Minister of Infrastructure with oversight for the uh, electricity or the power sector. They have done absolutely nothing well, they moved the generators from um, the new brand generators, they tell us, from Bardica, took them to Esequibo. And I'm happy the folks there made a lot of noise about it because they were going to bring some of these uh, scrap iron generators from Indonesia and put it there. 
people in this country, and you all could be true and say, yes, I started seeing less blackouts on the coalition. If you know it's to be true. If I'm lying, say, well, Duncan, I ain't with you with that one. I used to still get to see a bunch of blackouts, and even worse. But this thing is hitting people all kinds of how. And it comes. I we know how you're making out over by your side. Right? Norwin says she got a water problem at her side still. They had dislodged the main, they touch it back, and still, Orwin and other folks there at LaGrange complain to us the water situation has not been rectified. Folks, I tell you this this is what happens when you give these sensitive technical contracts to people like Bird Ness, to friends, family, and favorites. What do we expect? What do we expect? Right? They took the pipe apart by Orrin Dunn. They put it back together. And the thing's still not working. We used to have people who got the technical competence. Right? In these matters. Now, here is David Patterson. He was put there, Ministry of Works, Ministry of Infrastructure, not because somebody watch your face and like him. No, David is an engineer by profession. And there's not engineer degree and nobody and masters and so on that nobody buy, you know. You go go sitting in a class and study, write the exams, know the theory, mix with the practical, and then you run out. There's no IFLA University graduate. David Patterson was an engineer. You understand? David Granger was valedictorian of UG, you know. Bright for so. Valedictorian. It means out of the thousands of students going to UG. In his year, he beat out everybody. Some people might argue he was too bright. Now you got these. Folks here with full jagabatical tendencies on display. What have we become? Nation of fairy lights. What's that your qualification? Folks, I ask again, what is one Agile's academic qualifications as minister? I ain't asking about spiritual qualification because even those are lacking you were here when he said the people running him out and the contractors out the cemetery the spirits so even this spiritual the bishops spiritual qualifications are in question even those i thought being the powerful bishop he is he would stand his ground in that cemetery huh and start, you know, in that other language, robo, robo, such and so forth. He said the men ran. I didn't think they're going back yet. We got to do an update on that cemetery. A lot of half big projects. I see Fitzherbert, Jerry, is on the life. Fitzherbert, thanks for the thing. Fitzherbert, Jerry, I got it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. You know when somebody know you and they buy a gift and hit him out like that? Fitz did that. Sent me a gift. Lives out there in beautiful Connecticut. Folks, you should see Connecticut in the fall. I love it. I, lo I haven't been invited back in a little while, though. <laughs> Fitz. <laughs> I haven't been invited back in a little while. Huh? <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> Beautiful during for I fell in love with Connecticut. Yeah, beautiful place. I've certainly got other beautiful places as well. You see? And then you got very nice like this, you know. Steady power. Steady power. You know, I'm certain I know Fitz is a church man too. Fitz would not have run out of that cemetery. Like Ed Shill. Right. You know, I'm telling you, that has brought his spiritual 
qualifications into questions. Right? How you could be a bishop and you see all this black coat come in? Your pores must be clogged up. Your spiritual pores must be clogged up. You still hear God talking to you? Spiritual pores must be clogged up. Folks, three years, three years of the PPP. <laughs> More power, slow power. <laughs> Last time when you say thing here, say that yeah, yeah, the folks in there like it. They don't like it. They don't like blackout. They don't like the fairy lights. But folks, hold on. <laughs> so be the whole lot, whole lot, whole lot, whole lot. It gets worse. We can take it up an octave higher. We can take it up a key higher. <laughs> because, you know, it always gets progressively worse under the PPP. It gets worse, Alex. Clay Rankin, Alex Boom, Dolly Anderson. It gets progressively worse. Valerie Clark, folks, we got close to a thousand of you watching us on our broadcast this morning. From all over the world, dotted all over the world. We encourage you to share the life. Smash that emoji but We want others to get valid and credible information as well. And this is valid and credible information. You know, we can't do these programs without you folks. And we know some of you are taking us some granted. You know, people always think for some reason. Because we attract big numbers on these programs. Oh my God. We must be getting a good smart piece here. It isn't so. It isn't so at all. Right? It isn't so at all. And so we continue to encourage you guys to partner with us. We've got several platforms, all for your convenience. Of course, Cash App and Zelle and PayPal, uh, MMG, MoneyGram, Western Union. And you know, we can even accept your credit and debit cards now. Uh, send, uh, shoot, us, shoot us a quick message if we send you a link. And you can do that. Or, or if you're savvy, you just scan the QR code. There's the last one here. There's the Cash App QR code, the Zelle QR code, the PayPal QR code. And then you have the credit and debit card QR code. It takes you right to that page. That's secure link, folks. And you all know we don't play around with people's information and so on. And continually, folks, November is three years out. And we continue to put every cent we raise into producing these programs and into the longevity of these programs as well. I hope you all have been singing without us even shouting it, the use of our drone, without us shouting it. We raised that money while we were um, sojourned in the diaspora recently, and we've been putting it to use there, folks, and we'll continue to do so without us shouting. This, you know, I hope you've been seeing that um, every now and again, and more and more we're deploying it into um, the news gathering at this end. And all aimed at bringing you folks well, valid, credible information. We can't do it without you folks. As I said, folks, as I said, it gets worse. We got a lot of problems with power in this country. And I'm not just talking about what's happening with Donald. I'm not just talking about what's happening with Irvin. And what Cameron said the other day is war in the PPP. You know, they got a lot of power struggles. In this country, and there's a struggle to supply power to the people of this country in an effective and efficient manner. And I'm just so happy this era in which we're living, the people is totally unprepared for it. Totally, every citizen is a reporter. You have a, a cell phone in your hand, 
you have a smartphone, you have a transmitter in the studio all in one. And you know some of these smartphones coming more smart than you now. More smart than you now. Please and thank you. So as soon as see, people see something out of line, as soon as people see something out of line, they got on the cell phone. Right? Horace Carlos says, stop talking about money because you will be audited by Ian Fradali. You might be up to something there. So folks, uh, we saw some folks that met Amir Zor talk to social media as well. You know, BB has this tendency, you know, as soon as they do anything, you know, any because of the completion of the project, right? They celebrated aspects. The roundabout finished, the road and done. The road is yet incomplete, but the roundabout done. They open. They open, they say, <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. And then they stamp, promise delivered. Mind you, well, what happened in Metamares are in Region 3 quite recently might be, might be thought of as promise undelivered. Residents in the Metamares are housing scheme witnessed with their own eyes a short time earlier lamps were installed in the post. A short time later, folks, a short time later, a van was witnessed removing the lamps from the post. <laughs> the reason given, folks, is in true guide style. The reason given why they had installed and uninstalled the government, I mean, the lamp post, is true Guyanese, is quintessential Guyanese, quintessentially. Let me use this as an adverb. It's quintessentially Guyanese. <laughs> Folks, Metamirzog, you see? They try this street, street lamp nest thing, and they like it. They don't like it. Take a look and take a listen. What happened to Metamirzog? Quite recently. This crew talking about the put up the, the street lamp two weeks back. I love the comment taking it down and saying how the president say to take it down. We feel a thing of power to give we street lamp. This is we talking about the put up the, the street lamp two weeks back. I love the comment taking it down and saying how the president say to take it down. We feel a thing of power to give we street lamp. This, this is a government, this is an administration that can deliver a promise, a promise. And on deliver it all at the same time. All at the same time. You could deliver promise and on deliver it one time like that. Marine to Chester Paul, Yolanda Thomas, Neon Harding, and Naomi Drucker. All of the people. You could deliver promise and on deliver it. So their answer, their policy decision, if it's not scams, by the way. <laughs> is not to produce more power to give capacity to the grid you know by proper generating systems three years out where's a mile of falls they can't get an investor for a mile of falls they can't get an investor for the gas to show project so they say they can use Guyanese taxpayers money to fund the Dolly house Gas to show project until they get some loan from the Exim Bank. You see? Until the loan is approved. So you go and you put up street lights. If they were street lights, because 
switch lights got to work, they got to function. And then you come back and you say to save power in the grid, you uninstalling them. Oh, Father, could we uninstall the PPP? Huh? We could save Guyanese so much problems. Abira, if we uninstall the PPP, and then Abira says, use solar power street lights. Solar power street lights. Could we uninstall the PPP? Could that promise be undelivered? Naomi Drucker, maybe we need to pluck some cord into Avon because he seems to got a lot of power. He won all the headlines. He didn't want to bother share the headlines. Waveney Doris, Bell Crawford, Naomi Drucker, Jackie Little Argyle. He's all powerful. Maybe we should be plugged into him. The people went to uninstall the street lights folk. So while one area getting too much power. The Silver Street in Newtown. It met the mayor's arc, not so much. Uninstall. That's the policy decision. That's the policy direction and directive. This is what we're talking about. They put up the, the street lamp two weeks back. I love the comment taking it down and saying how the president say to take it down. Feeling that enough power to give me street lamp. This is what we're talking about. They put up the, the street lamp two weeks back. I love the comment taking it down and saying how the president say to take it down. Right. Apologies there. Now we see folks saying some. You see, like GPL and, and us too. <laughs> GPL government with power. The point I was making is that in the last iteration, thank you guys, in the last iteration of the governance and government, the PVP had Barrett Dimdial. Their own board told them that Dimdial was not performing well. And they were just about to fire him. Their own CEO 
when they lost power. No pun intended. And had to demit office. Well, the coalition, looking at their notes, said, well, if he wasn't good for them, <laughs> definitely can't be good for us. When they came back in, they bring back the deal. It's a set of all new styles. They bring back the deal. And sadly, due to ill health, he had to admit office as CEO quite recently. Hope he gets better. Hope he gets better. But then they bring Kesh, Nandilal, Anil Nandilal's brother, friends, family and favorites. You see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one big government of family and relatives, nieces and uncles, and aunties, chacha, tanti, everybody inside. Everybody inside making a bread. So you can guess, and you can pronounce on Kesha's tenure because it was a steady decline on the Dindial. Maybe that was the preferred thing, a steady decline. But since cash come, something's within the last, everything fall down. Everything fall down, no style of party apparently. Everything fall down. So we've taken a nose dive. Mm. Taking a nose dive. On the Patterson who had purview of this sector. Since them boys come in, <laughs> folk, and these folks will come to try to convince us of good governance, accountability. You know, they come in a lot, they're stewardship. Look at Isuku there. <laughs> the billions we're pouring into Gaisuku, like the billions we're pouring into GPL, and nothing to show for it. Right now, they're pouring a lot of money into it. You'll see in a couple of minutes. A lot of money they're pouring into it. Might as well they buy a fancy generator for every house in this country. Right. They said they're doing massive spending to reduce blackouts. You'll see in a second. Massive spending. While they met the mayor's are promise undelivered. Promise undelivered. And then here you got the wise Naomi Drucker. Naomi says, if they say barrels are bright, how come Guyana is so dark? <laughs> Only Naomi. If barrels are bright, how come Ghana said that? Yeah. He's a man of a lot of power. Maybe should we plug into him as well? You plug into him, plug into here from the same time? Maybe that's what happened in, um, in the Silver Street. There's too much power. <laughs> you got to plug out a little. Right? You got to plug out a little bit. A lot of people saying Byron got too much power. But if Byron got so much power, folks, why Byron running from the court marshals? <laughs> One country we live in, you know. <laughs> if Byron's so powerful, why is he running from court marshals? The report is that he's been dodging. <laughs> uh, he like lights in this country scarce the courts can't find me like Sue he's become just as mysterious he's trying to find Sue and the courts trying to find him I've become undone folks my apologies I've become undone he's trying to find Sue and the courts trying to find him The man powerful. And he dodging the court. Marshals. 
<coughs> you can dash in the court marshal. I can see you say, tell them I ain't, I ain't home. <laughs> Treating the court marshal as though they're Jehovah's Witnesses, tell them I'm not home. That's what the folks said. No. He talked a whole host of things about former Auditor General Anand Gulsharan. And Gulsharan is suing him for over 30 million dollars. Margaret Nelson, Alan won a nice time too, you know, Alan alone and um, former Minister of Finance, Winston Jordan. Alan goes through one nice time too. Oh, you want to talk slanderous, libelous things? Take a charge, a million dollars suit in your tail. And so the court marshals have been looking for the powerful Dr. Jackie. I don't know how could miss it, you know? Just look for the shine head. <laughs> Just look for the people light bouncing off or of something there in Sparendam. I don't know how they miss him. But the word in the ground is he's been dodging. Staying at all different locations, under all bottom houses, in cellars and basements, dodging the court. The high court. Of Supreme or the Supreme Court of Juridicature dodging the marshals. They understand the dodging marshals. You remember Janet? She got a writ from the High Court injuncting her from being soaring as president. Janet said, yeah. That was the first matrix style, here. Yeah. Fling. <laughs> Fling that over her shoulder. If you share the life yet, jagabatical tendencies. Right? Jagabatical, transcrapodian tendencies. Share the life, good folks. So the word on the ground is that the powerful vice president been dodging. I can tell him where to find it. Thursday, you bust through. Well, in the street, you take a left. They got a place they mark a freedom house. is Blackwood House now. Power and free in this country. It's Blackwood House. Thursday afternoon, round two. Eh? Thursday afternoon, round two. <laughs> Vesta Harley Rajkubar. <laughs> Thursday afternoon, round two. You bust through Wellington or King. You, if you hit through Wellington, you got to take a left. You go up King, you got to take a right. Can I ask anybody with the house where they send people there free? Wrong to wish. May come virtual. <laughs> Why has he been dodging? The court man. He's very dodgy. He's a very dodgy fella. Very, very dodgy fella. You see? And then they're going to want to come and lecture about rule of law. We're not all equal before the law in this tree Guyana. We're not all equal. Dodging court martial is the most fascinating thing you'll come across in a little while. One of the most fascinating things, folks. Dodging. Very, very dodgy fella. Very, very dodgy. <laughs> Please and thank you. So, uh, court, you can't say they try to help you out. The courts can't say they try to help them today. Bigly, Pump with the Harbor Bridge. Was it the same that they were trying to fire the manager of the Harbor Bridge the other day? Huh? Now he ran out as his defender in chief. What's happening there? What's happening there? They're telling us the Harbor Bridge in the red. Harbor Bridge in the red. And it's not because Santa coming down the chimney. No. Right? They can't pay for services they employ. I saw one report that says that the monthly expenses is about $700 million. Sorry, $1.1 billion. And their income is just about $700 million. But it's still not a lot of money, all things being equal. Old Bridge. Still making a lot of money, right? But if every time something jammed the bridge, 
Them boys pay out a hundred, a one billion dollars to repair. What do you think will happen over time? And 700 million the teeth out from the one billion. The bridge got to be in the red. Hmm? Why is the general manager of the Demara Harbor suddenly a sacred cow? It's the same as you're trying to find this man the other day. What's happening here, folks? We big. Roxanne Garraway, Waveney Doris, uh, Michelle Garrett. What's happening here, Rami Leander, Marlon Pandey, Michael Street? So the bridge like is heading for bankruptcy now. But he ran out, Edgel defending the fella. Oh, this and that and what he didn't implement and implement and so on. This one thing with the PP. When the same must go, you can go. They can find every reason and the sun. You see? Why you should go? Oh, ants are crossing the road one day and you mash the ants. He hates animals. And when they want you to stay, oh my God, they will strain every bit of fat. Oh, he's a church boy. Oh, he's an altar boy. Oh, he's a yes man. Oh, he's a house. Everything, they, every reason. So they run out now. But folks, all is not well with the Harbor Bridge. It's like anything they touch. You know the Madras touch? They, they, they got the opposite. Right? They got the opposite. What is the opposite? What is that metaphor? Hmm? King Madas, everything he touched, you should turn to gold. And that's where the metaphor comes from. That, 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 that fable, that story. What's the opposite? Anything they touch is broke down. Right? They touch and they don't stand up yet for a long time. They touch Kwame, Kwame and stand up neither. Anything they touch is fall down. The bridge, bleeding money. Margaret Evans, it turns to mush. It turns to mush. You see, this is happening. Security sector in shambles. The economy in shambles. Oh, oh, oh. This is where we are, folks. I'll be coming done again. This is where we are. This is where we are, unfortunately. Bridges in shambles financially, economically, like the rest of the country. Like the rest of the country. The, the GRA, the Ghana Revenue Authority, has instructed Excel Mobile. Make it right. In your finances, your financials, make it right. Disputing this 214 million US. That go sigh and them cook up and try to bring down to three million disputed spending. You know, we gotta pay it back. Whether they say they put in to produce the oil, we gotta pay them back, but it has to be properly audited and so on. And Bobby Gosai, Gosai, according to the government, went in a frolic of his own with that department there in the Ministry of Natural Resources. Went on a frolic of his own. And negotiated down that huge amount, 240 million US dollars in three minutes. I love to see where Gosai lives. I love to see where he lives, what he owns, what he bank, where he eats. I love to who his friends are. Well, stay shut. GRA said, make it right, Exxon. Make it right, folks. The Exxon boss, can't remember his name right now, not Rutledge. The fellow who's pay Alistair Rutledge. I checked out personally where he's living. They got exclusive areas in Manhattan. And in those exclusive areas are ultra exclusive areas. That's where he lives. With your oil money. And my oil money. And we cheering oil money. 
Jack Dio, friends, family, and favorites. Tucking at natural resources. Negotiating down. 240 million in disputed spending. Down to 3 million and less. Naomi said, go say she family. We got to watch you too then. We got to watch you negotiation skills. Make it right. Exxon. Make it right. You think it's one thing wrong in this beautiful country of ours? Beautiful country of ours. You think it's one thing wrong? There's a lot of things wrong in all quarters. Plenty of things wrong. Love things wrong. This one here, you know, Ramta was right. Head's got a roll. What's to become of Gosai? A little slap on the wrist. A little two weeks suspension, like this always director at the main city council. Is that going to be it? A break in the law? You're watching to see. Because, of course, you live here long enough, you know the phrase, this is Guyana. You live here long enough, you know it. This is Guyana, folks. We're more than happy to see a uh, police commander. Uh, what's his name? Police commander Krishna Romana and Sergeant Jaiwan of the Grove Police Station. They went into the Friendship Secondary School and advising the kids stay away from bullies. Remember, there's a big fight there the other day. Don't bully one another. No, leave that to Irfan and Ramatar. Stay away from bullyism. Good old to them. But tell us, Krishna Roman is trying to bully Winston um, Jordan the other day, though. Is the lad he's trying to bully Winston? Right? Maybe he's, he's accepted the Lord and he's living victoriously. He's changed the error of his ways and he's trying to convert others. Much like Saul on the Damascus Road. He's been struck down and he's seen the light. And now he's trying to proselyte others. Right? Advising students to stay away from bullyism and violence. It's a good, it's a good message. Well, he's the best person, the best vessel. It's another story. But congrats to them, Andafra. Congrats to Krishna, Romana, and Sergeant Jaiwan. I don't want to fight everybody this morning. I don't want to fight everybody this morning. But our kids need this kind of instruction. You see? They need good mentors and role models and so on. I ain't think they're going to find it here with these boys. But it's a good effort. Nonetheless, it's a good effort nonetheless. And before we wrap up, folks, let's show you a couple of the other things we're following this morning. Elizabeth Narayan says he's not getting his fair shake. And so he forget about democracy and he brawling now and threatening them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Elizabeth says she got she drinks and she popcorn and she with it's too weak, y'all. It's too weak. Good morning, Sparkle City. Good morning, Sparkle City. Yeah, let's show you these other things we're tracking this morning, good folks. Y'all know what's happening in that theater there. In the Middle East. We see Biden. Um, saying that uh, it was an act of sheer evil and pledging to support Israel all the way. Pledging to support Israel all the way. That's one of the things we're following this morning. But folks, the GDF says that it is trained over 151 ranks in specialized military courses. I'm happy to hear this because how them boys behaving across the border, we might be like Palestine and Israel quite soon. The way them boys watching the oil are there and salivating and smelling bloody water here with weak leadership. We're in too far. God forbid what's happening in the Middle East. So I'm happy to see this. A GDF specialized training. The military personnel. I'm very happy. Well, I keep moving forward in that direction. Keep moving forward in that direction. Please and thank you. No qualms there. Send more people. We need to have our guys in tip-top shape. Tip-top shape. And then they're telling us that, as I promised, 
GPL is spending 27 million US foreign trips and food and so on for meetings. No, no, no. They're trying to um, make a mess of around. Spending it on more power to help ease blackouts. That's what they said. <laughs> They're spending on more power, 27 million, to help ease blackout. Three years in, folks. Nothing functioning under them. Nothing not functioning under them. Nothing not functioning. See? Double negatives. That's what they would say in English in, when they're doing grammar. Double negatives, nothing not functioning. I sound like a bit like April. That's stop covering them so much. Double negatives. You see? <laughs> right? We have a new um, non resident ambassador from South Africa. A new non resident ambassador. Quite, quite a woman. And Ali has accepted her letters of credence from the non resident ambassador of South Africa, Her Excellency Lamka Yujani. Lamka Yujani, beautiful woman, eminently qualified. You gotta have some conversations with her. Non resident ambassador from. from South Africa. You gotta have some very, very important bilaterals with her. Happy to see we have a representative from South Africa. Very happy on that front, folks. Very, very happy on that front. So, folks, you all see what's happening. That's a snapshot. As we begin today, <laughs> as we move forward, that's a snapshot of some of what is happening. Good folks. Yep. That's the good governance as an offer. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. It's good to have had so many of you on the live this morning. It's been a privilege being here with all of you folks. Michelle Garrett, Vesta Harlow, Heidi Rashkumar says, GPL is another cash cow. Like I said, true. True words have not been spoken. P. Ali Cook says Biden caused the war. He gave Iran $6 billion. Bop, bop, bop. Reno Cummins asking, Sarah gone yet? It's a good question. Has Sarah left? As yet. You know? That's the one thing Sarah and um, Hickens are going to come in. They're going, 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 going. Right. It can pass the age of retirement. Going, 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 going. Has Sierra left? Sierra gone no place. Sierra gone not away. Sharon Castillo Edwards. Brooklyn's in the house, folks. Good to have you, Sharon. Edward Brooms. Good to have you, too. Ingrid King, we see you there. Folks, share that live for us. Smash that emoji button as well, good folks. And again, we take the opportunity to say, before we go, to partner with us too. Unfortunately, we don't run on water. You know, they any better kind of technology yet. It takes something to keep the lights on, the doors open, folks, and the internet going. And we encourage you to partner with us. We know we can vex them now. We can vex them now. All right? We can vex them now because we ain't going to them. We're asking you guys. And we got cash up available. And we don't tell you how much. Whether it's $5, it's 10 it's 50 hours, 2,000. We can get so high. <laughs> but we don't put a max and we don't put, we don't put a limit. Below or above. And you can WhatsApp us and 627-6963. 627-6963. That's our official WhatsApp number. WhatsApp us there. Folks, and we can give you guys any additional information that you may need. And as we say, we said we also have the facility to receive your debit and credit cards as well. And we got all of the QR codes for those of you who are unable to just hey, folks, you just want to take out your phone and snap. Cash app QR code, the 
Dell QR code, PayPal, and that very secure link that accepts the debit and credit cards as well. That is available too, folks. And so we invite you guys to partner with us and we just have as many of these platforms as possible. So that make it so we can make it as convenient as possible for you folks to partner with us. So before you go, hit the live again, smash that emoji button and partner with us. Until the next broadcast, folks, have a fantastic rest of the day. That's we time. Ingrid Austin out front part. And that's our program. All right? Out front parts, let me know what do you need for Western Union. Hit me up on WhatsApp. Let me know how I can help. And then I see Waveney and Maxine and all the other folks. Horace Calder and all the other beautiful folks joining us. Joyce Carter. Good to see you as well. Beatrice Selby. Joseph Winslow. Have a fantastic rest of the day, folks. Until our next podcast.